Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome to more Goddess, an RPG Maker game. Last time, what did we do last time? Last time we killed some a whole lot of fish people, and we made all the fish puns. All of them. And this time we're going into this place. Indeed. First of all, what she said. Second of all... Okay. Okay. Valid point. Look, the point is, they're coming. Wow, he can really move when he's motivated. <laughs> I am no mere peasant. Unless I am? I don't know. I guess it depends on the definition. Ooh, welcome to the Baroness's Manor. You must be Liddy Red. Red is just fine. Just Red? What? Stop stammering and get to the Baroness, you nip what? I mean, it's not a rabbit and it's not a dog, so... She stood there, at the top of the stairs. I feel I should explain something first. It is important you realize who I was at this point in my life. The kind of person I was. I was a mountain woman. A girl who lived in the woods and hunted and trapped animals as lifestyle. Comfortable enough in town, but still wary of civilization and all its trappings. I preface this part of the story with a, this warning because of the confession that follows. Um... Mm-hmm. -mm. When I saw her there, standing there, in all her vain beauty, I was taken aback. She stood like a queen, like a character from some story about a faraway land. I had never seen a dress such as that one she wore, and I had never seen jewels that adorn her. What? Seen jewels such as those that adorn her. <laughs> That's... that needs a spell check. Um... or grammar check, rather. I had never known a human could be made up like she was at that moment in time. And then she moved, making her way down the staircase, step by step. Her body moved like a tall glass of red wine. I had never seen a woman with so what? Her dress what? Uh, I know I said this like back in episode two or three, but I really am going to need to make this w or limit this to mature users, aren't I? That's such a pain. <laughs> right through me and directly to my wolf, Chansey. What is that? What? What an amazing handsome boy you are. Yes, you are. Uh... Um... Uh... Well, this is unexpected. <laughs> I've never 
seen Chansey act like that around anyone before. Not even me. Oh, there are people here. Who are you? I'm Red, the town champion. I'm here for the dinner, remember? What? Oh yes, dinner with the town folk and all that. My word, you're a big girl, aren't you? What is that thing behind you? That's Hilza Isinglass, my associate. We work together. Ah, your servant. Of course, I understand. I mean, honestly, she's not wrong. <laughs> Well, actually, you kind of are. <laughs> so sass in the help these days. Times truly have changed. I agree. My lady, the agreement was for a one-on-one -on -one dinner. This is... What are you blathering on about again? Oh, oh yes. By the way, this is obviously a wolf, not a dog, you dimwit. I apologize, my lady. What's his name? I adore animals, you know? I used to... I used to ringlead in a circus? I'm sorry, what? Um... Well, that seems perfectly reasonable. I was quite good at it. Cracking the whip at 16 years old. Those were the good old days. But enough of this talk in the this drafty entryway. I'm famished. Let's talk about animals and more about eating them. To the dining room. This seems a little bit excessive. Um... Oh, wow. Yeah. Yes, a bit small, I know. But out here in the Freelands, there's not many opportunities for hosting parties anyway. Um... Hmm? Oh, yes. You're one of the normal folk. I keep forgetting. Uh... Baroness, oh, please, call me by my actual name. <laughs> ha! That makes me sound like some mysterious figure of a fairy tale. Yes, I have a name, and it's Blixen. Why, thank you. Alright then, Baroness. Baroness Blixen, that is. Pass the salt, if you would. Indeed I am, trained and schooled at the best academies of Krail. And oh, I'm sorry, but I can't help but notice that your silent companion here seems a bit uncomfortable. Um... Hmm... Now that she mentions it... Oh yes, the help. You can never have too much of that, am I right? Um... I don't know, like, honestly, if she's paying them... Although, it, I guess it depends what she's paying them with. And how they're treated. I mean, the guards were sort of not great to some of the servants. But she seems to have been fine? I find it's always good to have a trusted servant nearby, whether it's a man-at-arms or a maid. I have a small army of both, after all. Mm. Oh yes, we were supposed to talk about that dreadful mob that appeared outside earlier today, yes? Whatever did they want, anyway? They're upset because they're forcing them to pay taxes. This town used to be a free town. When you showed up, with your soldiers and your massive manner, the people began to resent you. 
And now it seems like you're squeezing the people dry of all their wealth. You mean this is all about that little sign I put outside? That was just the tipping point. The people have had enough of you, and they want you out. Well, I'm afraid that's just out of the question. I care for this town too much to, to just up and leave. <laughs> that's Jared. Um, what she means is that she doesn't understand how you could say that you love the town when you're robbing it of its wealth. When you're taxing it dry. These are matters simple folks can't understand, I fear. You see, I do love this town. I love the freedom of the entire neutral lands. Why do you think I left Crail? I was stifled by the city life and the people who surrounded me, always scheming, always plotting. So some years ago, I came here. But still, I have contact with Crail, and with the other place as well. Letters are always being sent to and from a myriad of contacts. And, let me reveal to you, the plotting has gotten worse. There is a scheme afoot in both kingdoms, and this scheme is this. And the scheme is this. They are forming armies to conquer these lands. They both see it as a piece of fruit, ripe for the picking. It was only a matter of time, really. They'll fight over this land, and it will be bloody. Um, good question. Only the nobility of both kingdoms, certainly not the common folk, and certainly not the people of Wittershins. But think. What lies in the very center of the neutral lands? Yes, this very town. And so, I hope you understand now, Red, that my collection of wealth is not for my own benefit. I am growing a, a militia of my own to defend the, this people and the, their town. If they think the taxes are bad under my governments, then wait until they meet the accountants of Crail and Fathen. If what you say is true, then the people would understand if you just told them. You could even train them and arm them. I would They would gladly fight for their freedom. I think not. They mistrust me, and would never believe me. My method is the more certain way. Besides, an armed populace is a dangerous one. They already want my head. If I gave them w weapons, they would have it that much easier. Um, I don't really agree with her, but this is actually tough, because, like, I can see the logic in her point of view, but I don't really agree with her stance. Mm. Would they fight for you? Mmm, some of them would. But other... hmm... Well... How naive you are, child. They would view it all as a scheme and rebel, storming the manor. But whatever the case, you can't keep going as you have. If things continue like they are, the people will rebel anyway. What would you have me do? Abandon the town? No. Deal with the people. Face to face. Meet them tomorrow morning. Rescind the most recent tax increase. And promise to put a ceiling on it. And then try to explain to them the situation. The threat of invasion by two warring kingdoms. I'm not saying you have to arm them. But at least least try to convince some of them to be more cooperative. Hmm. Well, I'll think about it. I must say, for a mere peasant, you certainly have some semblance of wisdom. Oh look, my wine glass has run empty. Ahem, my wine glass is empty! Uh. <laughs> I really want to say this, but 
<laughs> she certainly is. Uh, I can't. What is the word? Um. What is the word I want? Like. Well, anyway. <laughs> well, look at you. I'm not surprised. I mean, really. When's the last time you took a bath, even? Anyway, let's eat and drink our fill tonight. Uh... Here's to circuses! Because I love animals and monkeys and elephants! But I can do it without the clowns. <laughs> I ate the finest meal I had ever eaten that night. And drank the finest wine. When it was all over... Lixen had promised to address the town first thing in the morning. Okay, I think I know how this is going to end. It's not going to end well. It never ends well! Ah, the food and wine were excellent, and I'm glad we could see reasonableness together. I hope this helps to solve the town's problems. Good night, Baroness Blixen. Mm. I'm a little bit worried, to be honest. Looks like Mofat's asleep. How do you think tonight went anyway? I didn't like it, and I don't like the Baroness. Why ever not? Uh, yeah, I, I sort of caught that, actually. I mean, I don't think it's just an excuse, but I do think she's out of touch with reality. She is too accustomed to the extreme luxury, and needs to tone that back down a dozen notches. Um... Mm. Indeed. I mean, worst case, then I'm just back to having to kill her. Or at least dethrone her. Um. My head was still full of thoughts of the Baroness, and the town, and Tobias, and the kingdoms. All the events that had happened recently, little Mofed had become an afterthought in my life. When I awoke the next morning, it was such a still and quiet time. But not for long. <laughs> Wait, where's the cripple? I mean, Mofet. I guess it's derog actually it's, it's sort of derogatory to refer to her like that. So I retract that and apologize. Um, yeah. Indeed, she's gone. That's what sort of well, someone must have taken her because she certainly can't walk. Uh. Where's the innkeeper? Wait, what? How's she walking? How is she walking? There's no way she could be walking now. It is, like, just not possible. And it's not just walking. I can run. I can even dance. Watch me. She even before she had her legs broke, she couldn't move that fast. No, no, you're wrong, Hilda. She hasn't completely healed. She's always had some form of disablement. You didn't know her before the attack. She was born a cripple. This... This is impossible. 
Um... In, 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 deed. I've been playing outside all morning. There are a lot of noisy people out there, but it's so fun. I can, wait, what? Where's the innkeeper anyway? Uh... Oh, I had a bad feeling like this. Die, you pig! Uh-huh. And I saw Tobias. Looks like it. Well, I'm gonna guess that Tobias' shipment was some form of weaponry. Mofet, I don't know how you can walk now, but I want you to leave town. Run! Can you do that? You can run now, can't you? What? Yes, I can. What about you, Red? Um, no. I've become too much part of this town. Muffet, wait for us on the edge of town. Don't go into the fields, you understand? Yes, Red, I'll go hide and wait for you. Mm. Why does this keep happening? Red, it's good you're here. The town has decided to attack. I don't understand. I was negotiating with the Baroness. She was going to ease up. It's too late. I wish I could have warned you, but after the weapons were distributed, they formed a mob immediately. They rose at the sun, and now it's too late to turn back. The dam has broken, and this town will flood over the manor. Yeah. Yeah. This rebellion could only have happened because of you, Red. Uh... I mean, no, I'm aligning myself with not killing a delusional, but more or less innocent woman. So be it, Red. We part ways here. I mean, let them turn on me. They will not sta they stand no chance. Hilda, you don't have to do this. I know you don't like the Baroness. This is my fight, and you can turn back now if you want. And they kill- they're killing the- they kill the freaking maids! Come on! Okay, I don't like the ticking noise at all. Even if it's just a clock, it bothers me greatly. Baroness! Lixen! Oh, so you've come for me, have you? Come to take me and give me to the people. No. I'm here to save you from them. I didn't know they would act so fast. I thought we still had time. Save me? The town's champion? Save me? What's the point? What would I do? This is my home. And it's being burned to the ground. My men are being slaughtered. They're in the manor already, Blixen. They're coming for you. Soon they'll get to the second floor and break down that door. I can't stop them once that happens. There's too many. I mean, I think you probably could, but I, I digress. My head on a spike? I think not. I'll 
be leaving a beautiful corpse behind when I die, not some gory mess. But how do we escape? Are you daft? We're on the second floor! I think we can make the jump. Besides, there's a moat down there. We can land in the water. That's where the sewage flows out! Uh, indeed. <laughs> I'm glad you pushed her. <laughs> we all made it, soaked through and through, and managed to run away as the men are burnt to the ground behind us. We found Muffet hiding in some bushes, and quickly made our exit from the town. We would not be returning anytime soon. On the run again. I can't believe it. I can. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, dear. You robbed me of death. So now I'm in this little jolly group for good. I can even be of help if we come across any ruffians. I can pull my weight, as the commenters say. True, I don't have the ape-like martial prowess of a baboon like you, but I've got my whip at least. Oh, wouldn't you like to know? Really? Yes, Red, of course I am. I don't know why everyone was so angry back in Winterstins, but I've never felt better. You don't even have to push me around in that cart anymore. I can walk beside you now. Mmm. And I see a tent. View current re relationship levels. Th it seems like an odd time for me to get this now. And also I can only use it on Hilda. Uh, Chansey is maxed out. The dog likes us. Hilda, not so much. Also, same for Blixen. Okay, so equipment-wise, you've got not a whole lot. Um, Skill-wise... Mm, well, you can heal yourself quite effectively. Oh, if, if somewhat ir unreliably. I wonder if I can give booze to... I can! Or so it says. I so I'm somewhat suspecting... Oh no, it's still on her. Oh, it's Hilda again. Hmm. I wonder, though. <laughs> I've already read this, so I'm going through it quickly, but I'm curious if that'll have an effect on... Nope. Okay. To the traveling merchant. And more bread. Egads! It's Red and her strange companions once more! Indeed. And what are you, some form of panhandler? Absolutely delightful! While you're here, you're always welcome to stay in the night. Or even, have a look at my wares! Do I have anything to sell? I do not. I do have this thing, though, still. I'm not really sure what to do with it. Um, I have a better bow. I have one of those. Mm. Okay, well, I can afford both of these. Why do jewelry increase your defense so much? Whatever. Um... Whoops. 
Uh, let, let's, let's, uh, whoops. Spoiler alert, I'm not playing in full screen mode. Okay, and on this note, this is a good place to stop. So, until next time, this has been Let's Play Goddess with Chance Baloo, and have a good day. Bye!